Hi folks. Today we are going to discuss the exit strategies used by private equity funds. So let's begin. The private equity life cycle has four phases that are funding, investing, harvesting and liquidation. In the fundraising phase, it can be very difficult to source capital, which is why most funds don't even get off the ground in the first place. Private equity firms may spend upwards of 2 years creating hype and luring investors until they reach their funding target. During investing phase, execution comes into the picture where the contributed amount gets invested in the underlying assets. Harvesting is the phase where investments are realized and cash is returned to the limited partners and liquidation is the final stage where GP looks for an exit strategy. Keep in mind, it takes 8 to 12 years to complete the entire life cycle. Also, we have a detailed video on the private equity life cycle. Please check it out. Link in the description. So, let's begin with exit strategies. The first strategy GP may use is secondaries. The secondary market allows private equity investors, also known as limited partners, to make an early exit, liquidate assets or rebalance their portfolios. The buyer exchanges a single cash payment to the seller for both the investments in the fund plus any unfunded commitments to the fund. Buying and selling pre-existing investor commitments to private equity and other alternative investment funds is the main objective of the secondaries. As per Blackstone, in 2009, secondary deals executed globally totaled $11 billion. By 2021, the market totally $130 billion, a nearly 12-fold increase. Top fund houses who deal with secondaries are Blackstone, Goldman Sachs, CPPIB, Morgan Stanley, TPG and Apollo. The next exit strategy is repurchase by promoters. The basic idea of this strategy is when promoters show interest to retain back the control by repurchasing the stakes once the underlying business is up and running. The third strategy is IPO. As we are aware, private equity is not investing in the public company instead they delist the public company as the result they will be having management and holding control. During liquidation, they may go public, file for an IPO, and sell their stakes. The fourth one is strategic acquisition. This is one of the most popular exit routes for private equity funds. The buyer will usually have a strategic advantage in acquiring this business as they both may complement each other. For this reason, the buyer will often pay a premium to acquire such a business. Like, Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Limited acquired Ranbaxy Laboratories Limited. As both do medicine business which complements each other, although it was a share swap deal, just to give a better understanding we used this as an example. Let's move to our final exit strategy which is liquidation. Liquidation as an exit strategy will often generate low returns. Liquidation entails the closing of a business through the sale of all its assets. The strategy is often used when a business cannot be sold through any of the other methods. The company will be sold off in parts like plant and machinery, real estate, marketable securities, buildings, etc. So these are a few popular exit strategies used by private equity firms. I hope you learned new things and this video added value to your time. If in case it does feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel Finlands. Thanks for watching. If you want any guidance or clarification in this video kindly comment below. We would be happy to answer them. Till then stay healthy and stay connected.